Hi friends, it's Deborah. I'm so sorry that we can't be together right now, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. And you know me, I like to do things where we can answer the question, what do you think would happen if? So this time we're going to answer that question by doing an ex, ex oh gosh, what was that word again? When you wanna figure out what's gonna happen, ex, what was that? Yes, experiment. We're going to do an experiment. And for this experiment, you're gonna need some containers. I have four of them that are the same. If you can get containers that are the same as each other, that would be great. I have four, if you only have three or two, that's okay also. I'm going to take the lid to my containers and I put a piece of tape over here because you guys are gonna help me write the place where we're going to put each container and that way we will remember where things were. We're also gonna label the container with another piece of tape going up and down the side of the container. And we're gonna use this space to record the information that we collect in our experiment. Does anybody remember the word that we use for the information that you collect in an experiment? It begins with a D. Da, 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 data? Did you say data? Yes. We are collecting the data and writing the information down on this tape. So you're going to need your containers labeled like this. You're going to need one standard measuring unit. I'm using a measuring cup. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can use a shovel or a spoon. The important thing is that you're using the same measuring tool to fill all of the containers so that the containers are filled the same way. You're also going to need a marker or a pen, something to write with that um, will work on the tape. So when you get those things together, that's great. Then you'll be ready to go outside and do the rest of the experiment. And that's what I'm going to do now. So see you outside, friends.